What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So there's been a lot of speculations and rumors running around for the past few days about CM Punk potentially returning to WWE. So I wanted to get my thoughts and opinions on this whole situation. I'm gonna be checking out an article from Give Me Sport dot com man i'm gonna go through this article read what was said and talked about and then formulate my own opinions and what do i think will potentially happen with cm punk do i think he will come back will he be welcomed back with open arms uh as you know triple h is in charge pretty much and we all know cm punk and triple h don't really like each other well at least in the past they didn't like each other I'm not sure if that's the same way now so we're gonna check this out let's get right into this article cm punk latest reports leads to shock rumors 43 year old wants wwe return man WWE and CM Punk seems to be shockingly open to working together. Again, new reports have led fans to believe CM Punk hasn't been seen in a wrestling ring all uh, since All Out of September 4th when he was alleged to have been suspended by AEW after a backstage altercation with the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega. There seems to be a holdup with Punk's outright leaving AEW, which seems likely, which reports have stated is down to the fear that he could return to WWE. Is CM Punk returning to WWE? It's worth noting that no one is reporting that Punk is heading back to WWE or even wants to, but recent re reports do seem to suggest that he may be targeting a sensational return. Dave Meltzer noted in the latest Wrestling Observer that Punk is expected to leave AEW with Tony Khan looking at a contract buyout. However, the holdup seems to be over a non-compete clause. AEW is in talks with Punk about the future, but right now it looks doubtful he will be back. They are in talks with Punk about a buyout of the remaining years of his contract, which tells you that they are not looking to bring him back. The holdup right now is said to be the non-compete period. The report notes that the only wrestling company with financial power to bring Punk in would be WWE. So it seems like AEW is worried about the prospect of him making a sensational return. Obviously, if the non-compete clause is an issue, it's about interest in going to WWE because there's no need for a non-compete clause otherwise because nobody else but AEW and WWE can pay him close to what he was making. This would also suggest that AEW is fearing Punk could go back to WWE, perhaps because he's given someone uh perhaps he's given someone an indication that he'd be interested in working with his former employers once again this idea was discussed by russell talk during one of their recent videos which you can watch below shout out to russell talk uh, i am subscribed to them as well the report did note that while punk left wwe in 2014 due to issues with not just vince mcmahon but also triple h he could be brought back as a way to get one over on AEW. Meltzer explains that bringing Punk back into WWE could be Triple H's way of sticking it to his competitors in the midst of the wrestling war AEW and WWE are in right now. There are those in WWE who have been negative towards him, but it is a war and the optics of looking pub uh, publicly that they have taken Punk from AEW would be very significant. Triple H's whole game right now is to is is about surprise debuts and Punk would be the biggest possible for him to bring in for impact. It's worth noting that reports notes that neither AEW nor CM Punk could, would comment on the matter, but neither denied it, either leading fans to believe there's some truth, as you can see below. And then there's some tweets down here. Um some people are saying i know triple h and cm punk don't get along but him coming back to wwe would be nice it seems that cm punk is open to returning to wwe otherwise why would he be negotiating over a non-compete clause uh could say pay me and stick me down for five years i'm done anyway it isn't like impact wrestling could afford him this is facts Turns out CM Punk was the WWE mode the whole time. If CM Punk returns to the WWE, uh, WWE, I'll pop so fucking hard. Holy shit. Type of things where it's like, 
it's really gaining some buzz. I believe Triple H has been noted saying, it, you know, he wouldn't be opposed to CM Punk coming back. You know, he wouldn't be opposed to it. Granted, it probably wouldn't be a full-time situation, but he's not opposed to it. So that came out of Triple H's mouth because Triple H knows whether you like somebody or not, you're in the business of making money, you know what I'm saying? So you could put things aside if it's there, if it's a possibility of making money and sticking it to AEW, it's kind of a win-win situation. Now, me personally, do I think CM Punk needs to come back to the WWE? My immediate answer is no. And reason why I say no is because I think CM Punk is at that point in his career where him coming back, the only reason why you would even have him come back is to, I guess, maybe enhance the future talent, enhance the people they have there, maybe have some cool dream matches or, you know, matches, matchups we haven't seen in quite some time. That would possibly be it. It wouldn't be for him to be the top guy, even though he would be the top guy, but in the sense of him holding a major championship off the bat, I don't think that's needed. And honestly, Right now, the way people are viewing him, yes, people would love to see him in WWE, but the way people are viewing him, he, he's, he, he's not, I guess you could say, universally loved like he was when he first originally came to AEW. I think people view him as kind of this locker room problem, like this this person that it's hard to work with, you know, and, and that could just be a perception, um, but the perception is it's, it's not... It's not, I guess you can say, far-fetched considering what happened in AEW and how things just completely imploded. Um, I don't think that it would necessarily be something that the fans would just ultimately uh, be on a board with. For example, Bray Wyatt coming back, I think universally a lot of the fans were on board with that. CM Punk, it would be a shock value for sure, but would he really be as over as he was now that we know what went down in AEW that that really becomes the question yes he would still be a major top guy in the company and CM Punk back in WWE in a wrestling capacity but at the same time would he still have that 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 type of luster that he once had you know I'm not so sure and also you got to take in consideration how would the WWE locker room feel having a guy that caused potentially a lot of chaos in another company's locker now in their locker room how would that affect other wrestlers how would they feel about having CM Punk there you know because a lot of these wrestlers whether you guys believe it or not they actually are cool with each other outside of them being in separate companies so i'm sure conversations have been had and people are like i don't know if i want him over here and potentially causing problems not saying that he would but at the same time who knows and me honestly i don't think he needs to be in wwe uh, i i just i just don't yes the times has changed but we know he doesn't like triple h they don't Triple H and CM Punk, they don't rock with each other. I don't think it's changed that much. It's now especially that Triple H runs the whole thing uh, on what you see on television. I don't think it's really changed that much. Maybe it has. I don't know. I can't really speak on their relationship, but I will say this. I just I just don't think it needs to happen. Not right now. I, I, I honestly... Me, personally, I do think maybe CM Punk, I think it's time for him to hang it up. I mean, hell, he's gotten injured again. I don't think I don't think his body can even go like it used to. We're seeing it now. So, honestly, me, personally, I think he should probably just go ahead, hang it up. You know, if AEW decides to let him go, they just let him go, pay him out, and then he just chill the rest of his days because i just i think his best years are behind him in my opinion and i just don't see what you know I'm, I'm not sure if he would gel with everyone there in wwe or like the majority of the locker room maybe he will maybe he won't i just i don't know i just really don't see it could there be some great feuds coming from him being back in the wwe of course but i just i don't think they need it you know what i'm saying it's it's not gonna just in my opinion, be one of those things where it's like, oh, yeah, we got CM Punk back. Oh, you know, it's going to obviously create some rating boost. But in the grand scheme of things, I mean, 
He's not going to really be a full-timer any, anyway. He's going to be more on a part-time schedule if he was to come. And I just don't think that WWE really needs him right now, honestly. That's just my opinion. I don't think they you know, they really, at the end of the day, need him. I think they're doing a great job, what they're doing right now and who they have right now. I'm sure Triple H has some more people coming in. So I, it, for, it'd be different if they needed that spark. They don't. <laughs> They got the Roman Reigns stuff going on, the Judgment Day stuff going on. You still have the Edge potentially coming back and attacking Judgment Day. You have these great pay-per-view events coming up. Um, you also have, um, you have, uh, I can't even think of the name, Karrion Cross in his bag with Drew McIntyre. Like, there's a lot of things going on in WWE on all their brands, especially even with Bray Wyatt being there has been a, a positive thing for smackdown so it's like they have a lot of star power do they really even need cm punk to be back in a sense me personally i don't i think just cm punk should kind of just maybe just hang it up man hang it up i it's not working out in aw and i just don't think um there's a need for him in wwe but if he was to come to wwe would i would i complain no i would be interested to see what they do but i don't think it's necessary so comment down below let me know do you guys want cm punk to come back or do you guys think he should probably just hang it up when it comes to wrestling all together man let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel Roll to 100k. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.